Hello beautiful people, how's it going? I'm back with another video and today we're watching Taxi Driver for the very first time. It's a movie about Robert De Niro driving a taxi, right? I'm really excited. The last movie I reacted to by Robert De Niro was The Godfather and you guys know how much I love that series. So I am excited to get into a 1976 drama. So I'm really excited to watch it, get along with it, watch it for all of you beautiful people, react to it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Of course, as always, if you wanna to speak to me directly, you can follow me on Instagram and send me a DM over there. If you wanna see the uncut reaction to this movie, you can pledge to me on Patreon below. And if you wanna see Scarface, and by the time this video gets uploaded, Robocop, they'll be on Patreon early. Of course, as always, if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe because 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So come on now, come on now, we've been through this. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get into this reaction. We work Jewish holidays. Anytime, anywhere. <laughs> it's clean. It's real clean, like my conscience. He's already so charming. It's amazing seeing Robert De Niro this young. Thank God for the rain, which has helped wash away the garbage and the trash off the sidewalks. Thank God for his narration. I love movies that are narrated. You guys have no idea. Someday a real rain will come and wash all the scum off the streets. So he has a really interesting insight on the world that he is surrounded by. Driver 48th and 6th, please. Man, you are gorgeous. Ah. It's so interesting because he sees the world the way it is. He's a taxi driver. He hears how everyone speaks. Everybody he picks up has an agenda, something going on. And he's realizing that everybody's agendas are horrible. I love that the movie is already giving me the message of the film right at the beginning. I just really find it interesting when a story incorporates its themes throughout the entire thing. That's something that was done just quite recently in Gladiator. That was a, that was a great movie. Each night when I return the cab to the garage, I have to clean the cum off the back seat. Yikes, that's disgusting. Where's the respect? 12 hours of work and I still can't sleep. Um, okay, well that's an interesting choice of something to watch publicly. I believe that someone should become a person like other people. That's a great line. It's just a lot of stuff on and on and on again. That's his job. Feels like life's repeating itself for him. Poor guy. You carry a piece? If you ever need one, I know a fella can get you a real nice deal. Lots of shit around. To be fair, I don't blame his friend for asking him if he would like a gun, because again, his job is very difficult. However, you guys know how I feel about guns. That is a very, very nice um, vest. I love that. See what confidence does? It's the way he struts that makes him confident. Would you like to come have some coffee and pie with me? Why? Because he's Robert De Niro. I saw in your eyes and I saw the way you carried yourself that you're not a happy person. He's good, yikes. I have a break at four o'clock and if you're here... Four o'clock today. Yes! That made me happy. I really root for him. Love this movie so far. Though he does have a few problems. Uh, I would say he has quite a few problems. <laughs> His energy seems to go in the wrong places. By the way, he's right. Focus on people's energy. There was an impulse that we were both following, so that gave me the right to come in and talk to you. He is so smooth, it's unbelievable. I don't believe I've ever met anyone quite like you. Something about the colors in this movie is phenomenal. Like, absolutely phenomenal. I'm having a feast just looking at it, and it makes me like the movie more. Or maybe it's just because I just got out of Saving Private Ryan the other day, and th I'm just I'm just glad this movie isn't depressing me. You know, the company said it was against their policy, but they don't know anything, you know? They're a bunch of jerks. He's such a nice guy. What is the one thing about this country that bugs you the most? Mm. This city here, because this city here is... Like an open sewer, you know? It's full of filth and scum. It's like Gotham. You wanna get busted? Cut in a bitch, be cool! Mm. Do something. He really left? Are you serious? I'm just gonna say this now, and if this is controversial, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't care. Rapists can rot in hell. This is a dirty movie. Yeah, I don't really understand why he's taking her to it, but okay. This is not so bad. Taking me to a place like this is about as exciting to me as saying, let's... 
Yeah, that's very true. He doesn't understand that she comes from a more, I don't want to say civilized, but a more respectful background. <laughs> I'm sorry about the, the other night. I didn't know that was the way you felt about it. I'm going to be honest. I feel so bad for him. He genuinely, genuinely was just trying to be a nice guy. He doesn't necessarily know how, but he was being a nice guy and he had the best intentions. You didn't get them. But I sent uh, some flowers. Uh... Oh, poor guy. He's genuinely being so nice. Please, this isn't the place to do it. Yeah, no, he's really not taking it well. Okay, then just leave. Hang on. All right, just leave then. Come on. He's turned into Poe from Kung Fu Panda on him. Did I tell you to? Did I do? Did I tell you to do that with the meter? Oh my goodness. So I want you to see that one because that's my wife. Okay. But that's not my apartment. Oh. No, I mean you wouldn't know who lives there. I'm just saying. But you know who lives there? I don't want to know. A nigga lives there. You just really, I mean, I felt so bad for you two seconds ago and you really just ruined it. Wow. Robert De Niro was right about people here sucking. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her with a 44 Magnum pistol. I have a 44 Magnum pistol. I'm gonna kill her with that gun. I mean, to be honest, I would be furious if my partner cheated on me, but... Mm. <laughs> Sometimes I like to hold a midget. Yeah? I mean, they're funny. Wow, these people really are horrible. Every single person we've met has a serious issue mentally. I'd be broke tonight if I hadn't caught me some people from Ohio out of Kennedy. Yeah, he still has that money from that guy who basically assaulted that little girl. And he feels bad about it. Well, he should feel bad about it. You better take your ass off! Man, this town really is a problem. Is this supposed to be New York City? I have no idea. And then job, you know, that becomes what he is. That's very true. That's so true. Uh, I don't know. That's about the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> Relax, killer. You're going to be all right. I know I've seen a lot of people and... Uh... It must be hard to really see all of this destruction, all of this disruption of human nature and people behaving the way they are behaving. He works in this area, he gets to socialize, he's forced to have to socialize with all of these people as a taxi driver. This, the, the movie concept is, is unbelievable. A man who is a taxi driver witnesses all the harsh realities of society. The people are beginning to rule. I feel it as a grouse. Mm -hmm. The idea of take matters into your own hands. The people are the people who will rule. It's exactly like what we were discussing in Gladiator. The people are the ones who have the choice because they are the ones who will follow. They are the ones who will lead by example. If you're a ruler and people don't like you, people won't support your cause. It's, it's the truth. Oh, there she is again. There you go. Again, I really don't know how I feel about the gun. I feel like it's going to un unleash a lot of negative things that are about to happen. In which case, for you, I'd recommend 38 snub nose. And it's smaller, so nobody would see it. <laughs> oh my goodness, he is really working out. No, too much sitting has ruined my body. Too much abuse has gone on for too long. Mm, he really feels like this is personal. No more bad food. No more destroyers of my body. Oh, I wish I could relate. <laughs> All the king's men cannot put it back together again. That's a great line. Well done, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> He's so cool. I'm gonna be honest. He is so sick. Such a cool guy. The great thing about his character is that you actually see where he's coming from. He completely understands that the world has, in his opinion, gone down the drain and he needs to set it right because the cops won't and the, the future president won't. It's, you know what, applause to him. I just don't think you should kill people though. <laughs> I really love this new outfit. A secret signal for the secret service. He's such a nice guy, but now I feel like I don't know what he's thinking. 
357 Magnums. Yeah, I'm really scared about what's about to happen. I'm standing here. You make a move. You make a move. <laughs> I'll try it, you. <laughs> He's so hilarious. You talking to me? He's so brilliant. You know what? Robert De Niro is giving the performance of his life in this. I wish someone recommended me this movie much earlier. Who the f do you think you're talking to? <laughs> <laughs> this movie is dedicating so much time to this rehearsal scene. It's perfect. It's perfect. He's so likable. This movie is making us fall in love with him. So when he does bad things, we feel conflicted. Okay, shut your fucking mouth and give me the cash out the drawer. Come on. Come on. Oh dear. Come on. It's time for you to do something now. Sit, man. Give me the rest hey. of the fucking bread. Hey. <gasps> Is he dead? I don't know. His eyes are moving. You should have shot him in the leg or something, dude. Just get out of here. No. No, man. I'll take care of it. Go ahead. Yeah. What's he going to do? Bury the body? Wow. Why is he so casual about this? What is going on? Why are you beating him? He was just shot dead. Oh, my God. I'm so conflicted. This is the thing, I'm so conflicted. I wanted Robert De Niro to do something, not necessarily kill him, but I kind of supported him in doing something. And so now I feel conflicted, and I think that's what this movie is trying to do to me, trying to make me feel conflicted, trying to make me root for him, and then when it goes too far, ask myself why I let that happen. Hey, Gabby, you can't park here. He's a changed man now. What about us, Joe? Our marriage? I think it's really interesting that the we are the people quote is in his bedroom. I think that means something. He believes in the idea that we are the people, we have the control. If something is wrong, we will handle it ourselves. His character is changing and it's progressing really what? interesting. But then why would you get rid of your own TV? His name is Matthew. I'll be over there waiting for you. Is that Jodie Foster? $15, 15 minutes, $25, half an hour. Oh, my days. You should be back here every night for some more, man. She's 12 and a half years old. You ain't never had no... She's 12 and a half years old? She got your so hard, she'll make it explode. Catch you later, copper. What'd you say? Oh, God, this is gross. Go ahead, have yourself a good time. Go ahead. This is so disgusting. There's a difference between being politically correct and having a heart. A decent heart, by the way. Listen, mister, it's your time. 15 minutes ain't long. Oh my god, she really is Jodie Foster. <laughs> What's your name? Easy. She sounds just like herself. It's crazy. I know that sounds weird. It's just last week I went to see a movie that she's in in theaters and it's so weird seeing her now and before. Well, I must have been stung. Why? What do you mean? They drug you? Oh, my days. Damn, man. God damn it. <sighs> I tried to get into your cab one night. Now you want to come and take me away. I think he wants to save her, but okay. When I'm not stoned, I got no place else to go. Life is really hard for some people. There ain't nothing there. Yeah, but you can't live like this. It's a hell. She really can't live like that. I'm just really glad to see her in normal clothes now. I don't go screwing for a bunch of killers and junkies the way you do. You call that being hip? <laughs> I'm a Libra too. That's why we get along so well. Oh my goodness, she believes in science. <laughs> so what makes you so high and mighty? Will you tell me that? Didn't you ever try looking in your own eyeballs in the mirror? His morals are in a better place. Even though he is a killer too. It's crazy to think about. Oh, and by the way, anybody was wondering, I'm a Leo. <laughs> God, I don't know who's weirder, you or me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I want you to take it. I don't want you to take anything from them. He's such a nice person. I love his soul so much. If you ever liked what you were doing, you wouldn't be my woman. 
Uh, Let me hold you. I'm gonna be sick. I only wish every man could know what it's like to be loved by you. By a 12 year old girl? Are you serious? Ew. Ew. These are such cool shots. This is a really amazing sequence. He's such a nice guy. He actually did leave her a good amount of money. He's such a genuine person. He just wants what's best for this person and he isn't even close with her. He really believes that his entire life has been for this, for what he's about to do. Senator Charles Palantine. <laughs> is he really gonna shoot the future president? Columbus Circle. A taxi has never looked that iconic. For far too long. Again with the we are the people. Mm. Into unemployment and inflation. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's a very interesting new look for him. Okay, I'll, I'll buy into it. We are the people, you and I. I'm sorry, every time I see it, I just read, vote for Palpatine. Do it. <laughs> This is a really cool shot. Run. Wow, I can't believe he didn't go through with it. I, never saw it. I really expected this movie to end with him shooting the president. It's scenes like this that make the movie amazing. These slow scenes of him just regrouping, getting himself together. How's everything in the pimp business, huh? He seriously doesn't recognize him? No, I don't know. Nobody named Iris. Iris, oh come on, I got him, man. Come on, shoot him up. I'm gonna be honest, I want it to happen. Suck on this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was amazing. I loved that. I loved it. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. He is so justified for doing that. Should he have informed the authorities? Possibly, yes. But would they have done anything about it? We don't know. Yeah, yeah. Can't believe he survived that first shot, to be honest. <laughs> Just one more for good measure. Oh, and a fourth one for good measure. Yeah, that hotel manager deserves it too. You know that guys are doing messed up things with a 12-year-old girl in your hotel. Trash. No! I feel a little bad for her, to be honest. She's... No, no, what are you doing? This movie is chaotic. I'm... Uh, this movie is chaotic. Is he serious? Why did he just try to shoot himself? Well, I guess it could be that he felt his purpose was fulfilled, but... <laughs> He's so iconic. But I wonder if that has a metaphorical meaning to it. Has he just metaphorically ended his life because of his actions? And then if that's the case, was it worth it? And the world has come to see his demise, even though they don't know what it is yet. Very interesting, very, very interesting. People always crowd when a tragedy happens, but I found that it's usually out of curiosity rather than sympathy or general concern. We tried to visit you at the hospital when we were in New York to pick up Iris. Oh. There is no way we can repay you for returning our Iris to us. Oh. You are something of a hero around this household. He is a hero. He's a hero in my heart. Oh, my days. I hope he wins. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. I read about you in the papers. Oh, now, now she wants him. Now she wants him because he's a hero. He's just a nice guy. She doesn't deserve him.
honestly. What a film, 10 out of 10. I, obviously, I loved it. Some of the best movies that I've reacted to and movies that I've watched that have had the biggest impact on me growing up are movies that ask me questions, movies that make me wonder, make me understand, and make me ask more questions. This was what Taxi Driver was to me. When I was editing this video and I saw the last scene, I really realized that I don't think that ending was the actual ending of the movie because his hair had grown back out. Was there a time that passed by? And how long would his hair, how long would it take for his hair to grow back out? It seems to me that it was like a dream sequence. And so I did some research. Nobody really understands what the ending of this movie means. People think that he bled out and died. And that to me is really metaphorical. This movie to me was one giant metaphor for how people sometimes feel the need to take things into their own hands, matters into their own hands. He, Travis, played by the amazing Robert De Niro, who by the way gave an amazing performance in this film, but doesn't he always? <laughs> he plays Travis, who is a war veteran from the Vietnam War, so of course he's seen a lot of bad stuff in his life. He comes back to America and gets this job as a taxi driver because he needs money to basically live a pretty average life. And he sees New York City and it's disgusting. There's so many crimes, so much pollution, morality is gone. Children are selling themselves, little girls, what? It's horrendous. And he sees that nobody is taking action. Nobody's doing anything about it. The authorities are doing nothing about it. So he feels he should. Is he right? for taking on that mantle? No, but you root for him. I don't know if I was the only one. I'm actually kind of scared to hear what everybody has to say because I really rooted for him in this movie. By the time that he'd made his transformation, I wanted him to murder <laughs> that pimp. I really wanted to see him die. And I was thinking, does that have an effect? Does that say something about my personality, my character? that I would be the type of person to enact revenge, not murder, I promise, I swear to God, not murder, but revenge. I, as an audience member, was so sucked into this mo movie because of the amazing script and Robert De Niro's amazing performance, he made him so likable, that I let go of my morals and I said, yeah, do it, he deserves it. That is what I love about movies. When a movie can suck you in so much that it basically changes you while you're watching. I was re-watching some of my reaction and I was like, I understand this is all very bad, but why am I so into it? That is something that I really liked about this movie. J the Joker, directed by Todd Phillips. When I watched that movie and I watched all of the reviews, they said that that movie took a lot of inspiration from Taxi Driver, which is why Robert De Niro was in The New Joker, and he played a very pivotal role in that. No spoilers, please go watch Todd Phillips' Joker. It's a masterpiece, and I really mean that in every sense of the word. Both of those films tackle the idea of society reaching a point of no return, and a, a protagonist, who is also an antagonist, feeling the need to take matters into his own hands. And you know what? I really like that concept. I like the idea of not only taking matters into your own hands, but questioning society, questioning authority, questioning the idea of who has the real control here. That is what I loved about this movie. Honestly, it's a 10 out of 10 experience for me. It was unbelievable. I had a blast watching this movie. I also had a blast editing it a couple of days ago. So I'm really, really glad that this is how this movie went. It was a really iconic movie. I always get nervous going into movies that have this much love and respect because I fear that I won't like them. And every single time I have reacted to a movie like that on this channel, I have ended up loving it, absolutely adoring it. So yeah, I think this is the second Robert De Niro movie that I've reacted to on this channel. The first being The Godfather Part 2, which I also adored. If you guys haven't seen that, consider checking it out. It's It was a lot of fun. Those Godfather movies were really special. And guys, 
If you liked me reacting to this kind of movie, dramas, they've always been my favorites at heart, so I would really love more thought-provoking movies. So if you have any movie suggestions that you would like to tell me, please feel free to do so. Honestly, I will read all your comments as I always do, and honestly, I just am so glad that I got to react to a movie like this, because I love movies where I can just speak and speak and speak, where my mind gets blown. Also, by the way, I need to mention <laughs> Jodie Foster. She was adorable. She's like a little baby. <laughs> it's really hilarious because actually last week I went to see a movie called The Mauritanian, which is also a movie I really think you guys need to see. Speaks a lot about certain things, which, pff, yeah, I just really think you guys should see that. And it's really interesting that, that a week ago I watched that movie and Jodie Foster is at, you know, her oldest age right now. And now I'm coming back here and I'm seeing this movie and I didn't even know she was in it. And then she's like 12 years old. And I'm like, what? She was an amazing actress since the day she got into the business. And that's honestly amazing. But I really want to hear what you guys have to say. Was that ending sequence a dream? Did he die in the process of c committing all of those murders? I mean, he was shot a lot of times. I'm so confused. How do you guys feel about the ending? Did it get to you? Were you rooting for people to die? Were you rooting for him to take matters into his own hands? I really want to know. So if you guys made it to the end of this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, comment, we are the people. Because that's what, we are the people. We are the people. I sound like King Julian from Madagascar. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.